on. Fish on. Kokini number one, a uh, silver turbo flasher followed by a pink mini turbo spinner. Awesome little salmon right there. Very cool. He will eat great. Fish on, just like that. Kokini on. Oh yeah, it's a nice kokini. Whoa, <laughs> he feisty now. There we go, kokini in the net. Nice fish too, chunk. He is a chunker. He is going back to camp. <laughs> oh, that's look at that guy. What a beautiful little kokie. I'm gonna say that's right at, I don't know, it's probably right at 14 inches. Very nice fish. Very handsome, very clean. And uh, he's gonna have bright red meat. He's gonna be great to eat. He might be dinner tonight, who knows. Anyway, just a dandy, dandy fish. Howdy guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Kel Kellogg, and if you haven't had a chance to, uh, whoa, stuff's flying all over here, got a little bit of breeze. If you haven't had a chance to hit that subscribe button yet and that bell notification, please do so. You'll be doing me a big favor and you'll always know when I'm here on YouTube talking about fishing tactics, and that's exactly what we're gonna do today. We're gonna talk about pulling spinners for trout and kokanee. Um, let's face it, spinners are highly effective. Both of the kokanee you saw me catch in the beginning of this video, they were both caught on my mini turbo spinners, different lakes, different times of the year. That, that spinner has become probably my number one go-to bait when I'm out fishing for kokanee. Number one bait, mini turbo spinner. Number two bait, my micro trigger spoon. Those combinations, those two lures have been very effective for me, whether I'm down at New Maloney's, Stampede, Bucks Lake, wherever. Um, Wes and I, we have caught many hundreds of fish on the mini turbo spinners this year. We pulled them a lot on the guide boat. They were very effective at Collins Lake on planted trout. I've been pulling them up in the high country. They flat out fish and they, you know, they fish for a couple, couple different reasons. One, they're very unique. Um, they spin with very little forward momentum. I'll show you the one I've been using for kokanee right here. Pink, um, mini turbo, a few beads, a bobber stop, and two red octopus hooks attached to the end of the leader. Simply put some shoe peg corn on there. I've been trolling that anywhere from about 1.3 all the way up to 1.8, two miles an hour. And uh, it has just been flat out working for me on some very nice kokanee. Um, what's cool about this blade is it's very lightweight. It's not made out of metal, so it spins at a very low speed and it puts off a very unique type of vibration. You know, every guy in the world has got a wedding ring spinner in their tackle box. That's a fine lure because trout and kokanee, they flat out love spinners. But remember what the scientists at Berkeley taught us based on their research. If a fish comes in and has a negative experience with a lure, Maybe they hit it and didn't get hooked or they came in, checked it out and decided it wasn't a, a good forage item. They can remember that offering for up to six months and they likely won't hit it again, okay? Do you wanna be pulling a lure that 
every guy has in their tackle box at your local trout lake? Or do you want to be pulling something unique like that, that the fish very likely haven't seen before? Show the fish something novel, show them something they haven't seen before, show them something that has a level or a type of vibration they haven't felt before, and you have a very high probability of drawing a strike from that fish. So that's been pretty much my number one offering for kokanee, that and my uh, micro trigger spoon. So that's my kokanee configuration with a uh, mini turbo double hook rig. You could run this for trout too. You could certainly put a little piece of night crawler on there, a little piece of shrimp, something like that. It would work great for trout, but if I'm going for trout, I like to pull this combo right here, which uh, tried to blow off the deck. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Um, next one after this, I'm gonna share a super a super finesse spinner presentation with you that you haven't seen before, but we'll get into that one next. This is my standard rainbow trout spinner right here. I've tipped the leader 10 pound test fluorocarbon with a red slow death hook, just like that. I put on a bobber stop. I usually put on a bobber stop with all my spinners because it allows me to slide the hardware down near the hook, but it also allows me to scope it up a little bit if I want some space. Now, when I'm using a night crawler on here, I prefer to use a half a night crawler, anywhere from about an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half piece of worm on there. It's gonna rotate with that slow death hook on it. So I might wanna scope it out a little bit from the actual spinner, or I might wanna put the worm on there and then slide the hardware down right down to the nose of the worm. Bottom line is what you're gonna get with that, I'm trying to get myself hooked, Whoa, there we go. What you're gonna get with that is you're gonna get a rotating worm, you're gonna get the bead color, you're gonna get the vibration and the flash from that chrome um, mini turbo, and it's just a very effective offering for rainbow trout. Whether we're down in the valley and we're targeting planters, or we're up in the high Sierras and we're looking for you know wild and holdover trout, um, that's basically my version of a wedding ring, and it works very, very well. How can you go wrong with a unique spinner teamed with a rotating night crawler? It's tough to do. It is a uh, straight up rainbow trout killer. Um, caught a lot of fish on that at, at Collins Lake this year. So here's my finesse spinner. And this is one you haven't seen. Wes and I, we're old. We remember the 90s. So we dubbed this spinner the mustache blade. And why we call it the mustache blade is the uh, the blade reminded reminded us of the mustache on that guy on the Super Mario Brothers video game. So that is the mustache blade. It is a small metal blade. Um, it spins with the slightest movement. I've teamed that with a little string, about three quarters of an inch worth of colored beads, um, four green ones, two red ones. I've got the bobber stop in there and I just tipped the leader with a single red octopus hook right there. Again, 10 pound test. This is something we love to use in the kayaks in the high Sierra. Wind gets going, we'll just scope this out, let the wind push us down the lake. At times we'll be going half a mile an hour, at other times we'll be going 1.2. We put a little piece of night crawler on the hook or a little, little ball of power bait and uh, we just let that spin and move through the water. Um, it is a absolute finesse offering. It is like the wee dick night of spinners. I've never seen anybody else pulling that, but uh, it is proving to be highly effective. It also works on kokanee. When kokanee are in a funk, you get the high sky, the glassy water, and you know, you had a great bite in the morning, but now they don't want to hit anymore. Just put a single piece of shoe peg corn on that hook, troll it along very slow, three quarters of a mile an hour, something like that and uh, you will definitely draw some bonus strikes until you get some breeze and the bite reignites. So the mustache blade, you haven't seen it yet, but uh, it is proving to be very effective. And you'll see Wes and I pulling these in the future because we really like this combination. So where do you get all this stuff? The answer is you go over to the fishhuntshoot.com store this kit has been a long time in coming. I've been trying to figure out what I was gonna put in it. I've been trying to figure out packaging on it. Um, 
all that but it is here now i have limited availability right out of the box because i always like to test market first so i've got a limited number of these i actually put these kits together last night i've been ordering parts for a long time what you're going to get in here you're going to get several um slow death hooks several red octopus hooks several red trebles you're going to get bobber stops and swivels you're going to get 10 of the mini the mini turbos um, you are going to get 10 of the mustache blades and you are going to get a selection of faceted beads and small round beads i like to run those small beads up against the spinner to act as a bearing i also like to run that small bead up against the bobber stop so i kind of sandwich the bigger beads between you know a small bead at the top small bead at the bottom if i'm running that mustache blade i am going 100 percent uh with the small beads so if you're interested in building your own spinners and that's the thing you know i'm all about maximum effectiveness on the water they're unique you're going to get more strikes on these than you will a commercially mass manufactured spinner hands down because the fish haven't seen this before i like maximum effectiveness but i also like maximum utility and that means getting you the most bang for your buck you go out you buy a spinner let's say you buy a wedding ring or you buy an uncle larry's i guarantee you you're going to break the leader and you're going to end up re-rigging it at some point but you're tied into that one color if you bought an orange spinner you've got an orange spinner you buy this set here you've got an infinite combination of colors you can run two of the turbos on one on one lure for you know extra flash extra vibration you can run any color combination you want you can mix and match you can get that mustache blade involved as well um there's just a lot of combinations let your imagination run wild let the fish tell you what they want on any given day you're always going to have a, a fresh leader what you need you need a spool of 10 pound test fluorocarbon leader material and whatever you want to tip these uh spinners with whether it's night crawlers corn salmon eggs power bait whatever you always want to tip your spinners but uh, if you want the best spinner on the market maximum effectiveness maximum utility get on over to fishhuntshoot.com grab one of these kits today you'll be yelling uh, fish on tomorrow remember i'm trying to help you guys catch more and bigger fish and you need some spinners in your tackle array it's just one of the tools you're going to need out on the water whether you're chasing kokanee kings or rainbow trout i'm kel kellogg thanks for all the support i will catch you next time right here on youtube and we'll talk more about fishing thank you guys